Crotalus here with another in-depth dinosaur review. I think we all know what's coming this time. That's right, we have Tyrannosaurus Rex. And T-Rex, as in the movies and as in, uh, I guess, popular culture in general, is always bound to make a big impression. But is being big and loud and powerful enough to do well in this game? The first thing I want to point out is that T-Rex is really annoyingly hard to dart when you encounter one in the wild. Uh, they move quickly, they move their head fast, and of course, as with any epic dinosaur, you don't get as much DNA per dart, and most annoyingly of all, check this out. Yes, they can escape, uh, especially a lot of the epic, the rarer dinosaurs are able to actually escape. So when we look at the design of T-Rex in this game, I think it's a pretty faithful design to the movies. If uh, you're familiar with Rexy, the, the sort of fan-given name to the T-Rex from the first Jurassic Park and the one that is now returned in the Jurassic World series, I think it looks a lot like that particular dinosaur. But uh, nice design, big, powerful, menacing looking as it should be. And we look at the attacks, and it fits it pretty well. It's basically a tank killer. Everything it has is tailor-made to bypass defense and hit hard. And of course, there is a non-epic version of T-Rex in this game, the Gen 2 T-Rex. Uh, a little stripey there, and not quite as powerful. It can't break shields, um, but still a decent dinosaur. If we go back 66 to 68 million years ago, we would see uh, an assemblage of dinosaurs that looks something like this, including the kind of furry-ish looking T-Rex there that's gray in the upper left. Now, T-Rex did live alongside dinosaurs like Triceratops, may have hunted them or may have just scavenged them, we'll get to that later, but it did not live alongside all of the dinosaurs that you see it uh, fighting and interacting with in Jurassic in the Jurassic series. Interestingly, actually, the distance in time between T-Rex and Stegosaurus is greater than the distance in time between T-Rex and us in the current modern day. So that means that you know T-Rex not only didn't live alongside a lot of the dinosaurs you see in the Jurassic series, but it lived way, way, millions of years apart from them. So of course T-Rex was very large and it in fact had the greatest bite force of any known living terrestrial vertebrate, so that's pretty cool. But one big question remains, one big debate remains as to whether it was an active hunter or a scavenger. Now it did have very, very good binocular vision based on some of the work that uh, paleontologists have done. It could see very, very well, probably even better than modern day hawks. So that would indicate it was probably a hunter. On the other side, uh, it may not have been able to move very fast. Some people think it couldn't even actually run, but then other paleontologists think it may have been able to run fairly quickly. So while this debate rages on, let's move on to the next popular debate about T-Rex, and that's whether it had feathers or not. We now know that most theropods were feathered. Some of the earliest theropods uh, show pretty good feathering, but T-Rex may have actually uh, only been partially feathered based on recent skin impressions that have been found that, shown, uh, that show that some parts of T-Rex were, were not feathered at least in adults. However, given that some of T-Rex's close relatives and uh, some of its ancestors were pretty well feathered, it's likely that at some point in its life and in, on some parts of its body, it was feathered. So back to the important question of how does Tyrannosaurus Rex fare in battle in Jurassic World Alive? And the answer to that is kind of a mixed one. So against tanks like Ankylosaurus, really high armor, defensive dinosaurs, he absolutely destroys them. As you can see there, high crit rate uh, coupled with two times damage capabilities and armor bypassing and even shield destroying attacks allow T-Rex to just shred uh, some of these really tanky dinosaurs that can't do much to him in defense. However, T-Rex is incredibly, incredibly slow and even with relatively high health it's pretty easy to counter with something that's quick and something that hits hard. Raptors, anybody? So T-Rex is good, but it really does have one fatal flaw. Must go faster. That's right. T-Rex reliably outspeeds only a single dinosaur in the game, and that's a Patasaurus. And a Patasaurus can use decelerating impact to slow its foe down. So there you go. T-Rex is outsped by essentially every dinosaur in the game. 
And that is a problem, especially in a current meta that's so dominated by speed and hard-hitting glass cannons. So T-Rex very often is going to be just killed, and at best it might be able to take out one tank if you bring it in at the right time and in the right way, but then be fairly quickly killed by the next dinosaur that comes in. This also means the T-Rex is fairly susceptible to being stunlocked by dinosaurs like Ineosuchus, a Stegoceratops, Triceratops, but since this does rely a little bit on luck, it's not the best strategy to take him out, and you can never quite account for the raw power that T-Rex is able to put out, especially when it crits, which is relatively often with its 30% critical chance. So if you find yourself in a less than favorable matchup with a T-Rex, it's often best to just let it take out something and then bring in a much faster dinosaur for a clean revenge kill. So while T-Rex is not a dinosaur that you can easily switch in on, it's also not a dinosaur that you want to switch in on things, uh, sort of mid-fight, because you really don't want it to have residual damage due to its low speed, it can be worn down fairly easily. Bringing in a full health T-Rex against something almost ensures you're going to hit it with a really, really powerful attack, and if it's got any damage on it, it's probably dead. Taking a closer look at Tyrannosaurus Rex, both epic and rare stats, you see high health, great damage, actually highest damage in the game currently for Tyrannosaurus Rex, Rexy, and uh, higher crit chance than usual, especially T-Rex, the epic version has that 30% crit, which is pretty nice, but extremely, extremely slow, as I said, both of them very slow. So really, they are great dinosaurs to bring out against a wall, a tank, something that is hard to kill otherwise, especially the epic T-Rex with its shield shattering or defense shattering shattering impact and rampage, but they're very, very easily killed by things that are faster, and therefore they really can't sweep teams very well. So, uh, looking at the stats, looking at how they play in the game, we've placed them up into some of the higher tiers uh, originally, and they've kind of dropped down towards the middle now, but still solid tank-killing dinosaurs. I'm just thankful that the Jurassic Park movies and the game are so different, or else the first Jurassic Park movie could have ended very differently.